down at the farm. A couple of weeks ago, I was contacted through the site by the good people at Night Sun. They asked, would I be interested in doing a review of one of their flashlights, a HT11. Uh, after having a few conversations via the web with them, or the email, uh, we decided to have a look at this one, the HT11. It's a zoomable, I'll move in a bit so you can see that, it's a zoomable Cree flashlight, which is rather, rather nice. Uh, it's all sort of a aircraft grade aluminium, Got a nice little wrist strap on here which I tend not to use because it gets all sort of tangled up. Uh, we've got a little port on it here. At first I thought that's a bit of a strange charging port. I thought it might have been with a USB or something but it's actually not. What it's for, because it comes in the box with it, is this rat tail. It plugs in. Let's see if I can get this onto the camera. There we are. Plugs in like so. And now through this you can turn it on and you can adjust the power infinitely so we can bring it down whoop, it goes off bring it back on on all the way up to full power again turn it off that for me with that little bit of velcro on it yeah and those little sticky tab that will be very handy sticking that to the side of your rifle and away you go right a little bit more about this torch we said it was aircraft grade aluminium which it is um, did I mention that the only thing I don't like about this at the moment is the smoothness of it all. It fits too well in my little hand. I would like to have seen some machining around here okay, to give it a bit of grip if my hands were wet or cold. The zoom itself is very easy to operate. You just turn the neck, zooms in, zooms out. Lovely. On off here it's not a variable switch on the end here, it is just a on and off. So there it is, on and off, and that's it. Um, what else can I say about it? You have a selection of LEDs, you can get a red one, you can get a white one, you can get a green one, and you can get an IR one. So I've got a red one and a white one. When you order it, you need to actually say which one you want. They are easy to change. I'll go through that in a minute. If I don't do it here, you'll see it change and I'll do it at home on the kitchen table. The other thing that you have an option for is the zoomable power here, this lens. You can have it, as this one is a 50, I think you can have it a 40, 35, 40, that sort of range, 60, 65, all the way up to about 75. But I think for the sort of uh, the fox in lamping that I do here, it, this is the ideal thing. It's going to fit nicely on top of the Mauser, it's going to be easy to operate, and it's going to be plenty bright enough. Just have a look how bright this blooming torch is. So I'm sitting here now at about 25, 30 yards. Yeah, a good 30 yards from the hedge there. And here's the lamp there in front of me now. You can see it dancing around in red. This is on the full zoom, of course. It's daylight and hopefully you can see it all the way over there, which I think, for me, is pretty impressive in full daylight. It's a Saturday afternoon. It's two o'clock. Okay, it's uh, in the winter here in England. It's uh, getting towards mid-November, but it's still, you know, full daylight and you can see it over there in the distance moving around. I'm very impressed with that. When you put it onto flood obviously it just disappears. So we'll get a better view of it all in a couple of hours when it goes dark and we'll try and call a fox and shoot it with my Mauser 243. <laughs> That's pretty impressive that in daylight uh, to go that sort of 35, yeah, 35 yards, I think that is pretty damn impressive. It's powered by the standard, eight, what, what is it, it's an 18650, you know, rechargeable lithium-ion battery that you seem to pick up anywhere. Mine came with it. I don't know if when, they, when you purchase one it comes with it or not, but they're cheap enough. I've got loads at home for my other flashlights and other bits and pieces. Um, you can pick them up anywhere really. The other thing that it came with, I've got it stuffed in my pocket here, is a charger, charging unit. 
it's the this one comes because it's European and English for me with a great big 13 amp plug on it put it in and it charges from flat to full in about uh, 30 minutes well it does for me anyway so please you know don't quote me on that but for me it works like that so what we're going to do is we're going to stop and have a bit of a coffee so warm here up. it is mounted on my rifle before we go anywhere here yeah, the magazine's out and it's clear so we've got it mounted on top of my Mauser 243 on top of the loophole scope it just clicks on this is a separate mount I use um, anyway so here it is that's the setup that's what we're going to be using tonight it's going to be 75 grain Hornady ammunition as well Whew. Oh, that was a, a bit exciting. I didn't even get a chance to turn the camera on. I put my Fox Pro out over that way, sort of uh, right in front of me. Came back, sat down, turned it on, then all of a sudden one appeared. It's like, where the hell did he come from? Didn't even have a chance to actually pick my gun up. Anyway, I'll turn the camera around. So, the Fox Pro is out, oh, about 40 yards out there in the stubble. And then I'm sitting here, turned it on, and just, just over there where that green, dark green bit is, literally about 30 yards behind there, Charlie comes running along. So I pick my rifle up. He sees that, he starts to turn and run. Hey! Shout! He turns around, stops, fatal mistake, bam! And he's gone. Here he is. I think it's a big dog fox. Just paced it out, and it was uh, 50 paces, so it's about 55 yards. I think I caught him just behind the shoulder. I think that's where it went in somewhere. Whoops. Went in somewhere around here. And I did flip him over, and yes, there is a big hole in the other side. So I don't think we should be showing that, that's not very nice. Well, there we are. There's the Night Sun HT11 with Charlie. See, it does work. What a flashlight. That is one hell of a good Fox Lamping torch. Yes, I will recommend it, and yes, I will say, go out and buy it. That has replaced all the other flashlights I've got. That is the one that I will be using from now on. It is bloody amazing. Thank you very much, everybody at Night Sun. Your HT11 flashlight, zoomable flashlight, is amazing. Well, there we are. There's the... Night Sun HT11 with Charlie. See, it does work. What a flashlight. That is one hell of a good Fox Lamping torch. Yes, I will recommend it. And yes, I will say, go out and buy it. That has replaced all the other flashlights I've got. That is the one that I will be using from now on. It is bloody amazing. Thank you very much everybody at Night Sun. Your HT11 flashlight, zoomable flashlight, is amazing. Right, it's almost, as you can see, it's like twilight. Sun set about 15, 20 minutes ago. So it's almost dark. I turn the light on. There we go. Where that is now, that is at, I would say, a conservative 50 yards. So now let's just spin it round. We've gone to where it is now. There I would say that's a good 100 yards, 125. And there is, on the corner there, I'd say that's about 200 yards. So as you can see, even in this half light, that blooming torch is amazing. And to top it all off, we just bashed a Charlie. 
but I didn't have time to catch it on camera. It was just literally turn the caller on and he's there. Had to drop the, the controller and wham and he's gone. But that was at about 50 yards. That was about from here to those trees there, those bushes there. Those uh, are sole bushes you know, for slow gin. Very nice.